Now we've got to solve then 8 to the power x equals 0 0.8. And there's several ways that spring to mind. I'm just going to show you how we can do it. It's basically a log type of problem. Okay, so what we do is we take logs to both sides of the equation. And I'm going to choose logs in base 10. And logs in base 10 are often just written as LOG. So if I log the left hand side, we get the log of 8 to the power x equals the log of 0 0.8. Now, you can now use the power rule for logs, that is, when you've got a power up the top here, you can bring the power out the front. So you then get x log in base 10 of 8 equals the log in base 10 of 0 0.8. And to get x, all you've got to do now is divide both sides by log of 8 in base 10. So you've got the log of 0 0.8 in base 10 all divided by the log of 8 in base 10. And if you do that on your calculator, you should find that you get x equals minus 0.1073 seven three and so on. And if we round this to three significant figures as requested, that comes out at minus naught point one oh seven to three SF. Now I did say that you could do this another way. You don't have to take logs to base ten. You can take them in fact to any base you like, but Base 8 would be another popular one, especially if you've got a calculator that can handle different bases. So if we log, say, to base 8, we would get this log in base 8 of 8 to the power x equals log in base 8 of 0 0.8. Again, we would use the power rule, the power x here can come out the front of the log. So you therefore have x log in base 8 of 8 equals the log in base 8 of 0 0.8. Now you should know that any number in its own base is going to be 1 because 8 to the power 1 gives you this number here, 8. So if you know that you could just write that simply as x equals the log in base 8 of 0 0.8. And if you use your calculator to do this particular method, okay, then you should find that you get exactly the same answers you got over here. x equals minus 0 0.1073 and so on. In fact, you could try and experiment with different bases anyway, okay, but I just chose base 10 because all calculators have got base 10 on, okay. Some calculators, I've got a Casio calculator for instance, and uh, it will handle bases like base 8, no problem at all, but leave it totally up to you. But essentially, that's how you do it, okay.